St. Theodore's Hospital finds itself in the village of Sagada, a picturesque community nestled in the Cordilleras mountain region in the main island of the Philippines, Luzon. Dr. Claire Lalit, the medical director of St. Theodore's, began her career in medicine as a volunteer. Uh, the history of St. Theodore's is rich in that uh, for a long time it has been the only hospital in the Cordilleras, north of Baguio, and it has been catering to all the other provinces in the Cordillera region. Dr. Claire has witnessed the rise in chronic illness and dependence on maintenance drugs. Her hope is to empower the community to take their health seriously by changing their diet and lifestyle to prevent disease. In October 2008, Tom Coghill joined the volunteer staff at St. Theodore's. I came out to Sagata. I was going to have a small detoxification retreat. I met Dr. Claire, she suggested that I work with her on her program for the hospital and then history was made. Within 30 days we had the program up and running. We had terminal cancer patients that are now recovered and claiming to be healthy without pain. Uh, from then the program expanded to many regions. The two developed a clinical trial in which therapeutic juice fasting and natural detoxification are used in conjunction with medicine to treat chronic diseases including cancer. So juice fasting, we say juice because you only take in juice. Juices of fresh, raw vegetables and fruits. Fasting because you don't eat any food, no solids, it's just the juice. And it's a therapy because we use it to treat or augment treatment of diseases. Here in Sagada, St. Theodore's, our primary goal in dealing with disease is to assist the body in the recovery of all of those factors through juice fasting, giving it the opportunity to clean, giving it the opportunity to have time and space and a clean bloodstream. The recovery process for disease is pretty simple. You drink juice and your body heals. The trial is not without its challenges. As each portion of the program exists on continual volunteers, it has been uh, the new vision of St. Theodore's has been to become the wellness and healing center in the Cordilleras. So the wellness program was started and it was uh, approved by the board. However, we have, uh, like as usual, the same problem. We have no funds to carry it out. So really the hospital is a charity and it runs with very little funds on a continual basis. Um, that is a bit of a limitation uh, in a sense of we don't have all that good quality vitamins for the patients. We don't have, we can't just go out and spend a couple of hundred dollars on, on stuff for the organic farm. Uh, we, we really have to think about every penny we spend. St. Theodore's Hospital has the potential to be a leader in medical treatment based on principles from culture, tradition, and modern science. To learn more about the program and how you may help, visit www.sagadahospital.com.